Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So, what does the end game look like? So, I'll you know share with you guys my recent accomplishment of uh, reaching 224 every figure that I have. So, it's actually a big milestone, one that is difficult to achieve and um, I only did it because I was able to speed up my account because of purchases, but again, everybody will reach 220 eventually and i think this is the level cap as of the moment i'm not sure if the level cap will be increasing or not so as of now when you reach level 20 the game kind of changes a bit okay i'll tell you one of the changes so as you for example i have her at the um, um, as you level her up at level 20 and also um, five diamonds, let's go to figure in care. So you can already paint. So what I mean by level 20, um, the end game is if you've expanded your figures to uh, five diamonds as well. So level 20, 220 and five diamonds. So again, um, you have to paint them in order for you to get an increase of an attack and increase of health as well. This one, the um, big three paint, um, I was not, I just got this from the Miko event. So I'm going to do this now to see if there's any difference in terms of leveling her up to five diamonds and to 20. So try using this coat. Basically, it's the same. And um, as soon as you use this one, you can level her up further. Okay, take note of that. So uh, five diamonds, you can, you can again, look for 400 of the paint, then coat again, then more or less you'll be unlocking additional bonuses. Let's say attack bonus of 5% and HP bonus of 5% as well. So I'm not sure on how, what is the limit for the, the paint, but again, this is going to be um, this is going to be your level up process once you reach five diamonds. Okay, so two twenty five diamonds. That is basically where your figures are going to go. Okay, then once you reach two twenty, I'm gonna take you guys to the store, and a recycle store will open. Okay, you won't use um your your stamps you won't use your clover stickers anymore you'll have to exchange them here these two are one time and um i'm not sure if th this is going to be replenished after a month but i think no this one is your monthly refresh uh, refreshing in terms of um you have here uh stickers for, uh, for the most store and for the eternal badge piece you have here as well. So I'm going to try to purchase this one. Uh, 100 million. So again, moving forward, you're going to be leveling up your figures um, to diamond, to five diamond. And this is one of the ways that you could do it once you're at level 220. Okay. So again... The other, I'm gonna, gonna gonna go back to my figures again. At the end game um, state, your the your objective is really to get copies. That's it. Um, it's more crucial to get copies because I, I'll tell you later, guys. In terms of what is happening now with this account of mine, um, you'll have to make sure that you get copies, take them as high as you can with five diamonds. Um, it's going to be crucial in clearing other stages in the future, um, current stages right now. And uh, let's say, for example, for Miko, um, what do you call this? Parts and badges will also come into play. So enhancement of badges, getting copies of badges is also crucial. You also have to make sure that you convert these, the yellow ones, the yellow stripe ones to peach or pink. 
then enhance them. So those are basically your route when going towards the end game. Okay, so those are, I think, the things that um, will make a difference in terms of reaching the end game. Reaching 220 is the end game. Then getting your figures to five star is next. Then parts, badges, enhancement, getting copies, uh, increased tier again, copies again because you need to raise them to five diamonds. Recycle shop automatically opens, and future figures. What lastly is going to play a big part in this game because. I think there are some content that needs future figures for you to clear. So I'm going to take you to what I have cleared so far. Although I'm at 220, I have a bit of uh, a few of um, figures who are in diamond, but I cannot get past 31-26. So that's the problem. Even if your figures are 220, you still need to do all of the things that I mentioned earlier so that you could clear these stages. So I'm very near to the end. So clearing chapter 31, I'm nearing the end of this one and uh, chapter 32 will be next. So it doesn't mean that you reach 220, you're going to be clearing everything. It doesn't work that way. So you ha still have to grind it out and to make sure that you level up the tiers of your figures up to five diamonds is the max. Then continuously again upgrade the other things, parts, badges, and the other things that I mentioned. Okay, I just want to repeat myself. And my question is, what does this mean for free to play? Again, it's going to be beneficial for free to play. The level cap will basically be your target. I know some of you guys are at level 140, 120, 160, but again, um, hang in there, just grind the game. Um, the cap is actually not that far. Um, in a few months, um, I think most free-to-play will be there already, but the, the most crucial ones that I think for free-to-play is getting copies, not reaching the cap. So again, always try to grind the game reach 220 then grind um i think badges won't be a problem also equipment won't be a problem because the equipment is um tied to your big three badges um there are a lot of opportunities to get badges from the game so i don't think it would be a problem um the increase of tier is going to be a challenge so rely on events uh, save up your diamonds um because again even I, um, I haven't been spending that much for diamonds. I've been saving a lot as well. So any free to play can, you know, can go toe to toe with those pay to win players. Um, but again, they will be a little bit, um, you know, delayed in terms of going to 220. So that's just it. Um, this game, if it's going to stay at 220 in, uh, in its cap for the next few months i think it would be beneficial so much for free to play i'm not sure if they're going to increase the cap to probably 300 or 250 but that uh, remains to be seen and also again they are in terms of summoning or summon or banners we haven't gotten that much after at Miko. so it's also beneficial for free to play so that free to play can save so again this is the end game guys and um you're gonna get get to this part i'm sure um if not tomorrow if not a few weeks from now a few months from now you'll be there so again just be patient once you hit the cap it's a very it's going to be a relief for you because you don't have to farm for these anymore literally for, to, for, for you to to what you call this to climb up to level 220 but this is more of your freebies already uh freebies in terms of getting um from the recycle store and that's it so again the recycle store will also help you get additional units because of the the mo store the sticker here th these are what you're going to be farming for free to play is going to enjoy once they reach 220 i guarantee you that so anyway guys, so that is it for now. So 
hope you are gonna reach the end game soon and uh, please comment down in the comment section below if you have and if you're near and comment also what level you are in um i'm not sure if you're free to play if how long you're gonna take to reach the end game but again if you play every day um you're gonna reach it soon and once you reach it then this one opens up for you okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully this gave you a glimpse into the end game of figure fantasy and what is in store for you um out there and uh, stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here